Hey folks, Friday edition of Daily Dub. Fan on my head, that means I'm home, hey -o. And today, we're gonna talk about something that is near and dear to my belly. And that's Auntie Anne's pretzels. Who's excited? Auntie Anne's, anybody? Auntie in it? No? Yeah? I love Auntie Anne's pretzels. And uh, because I flew in and out of Boston this week and I fly in and out of Boston again next week, that means I get to eat Auntie Anne's pretzels. Because when I fly in and out of that airport, it's often uh, like last night, it was late. My flight was after almost nine o'clock when it departed. And so usually it's already been dinner and all of that stuff. And so you just want a little treat, mm, a little treat for your, uh, for your travel. And you've got to avoid diarrhea. So Auntie Anne's is typically a place I like to go. Now, I like Auntie Anne's in that airport in Logan. Why that's what I do when I go to Boston, I don't have a good reason other than it's there. But there's a lot of other restaurants there too. But, I, I, you know, I put it in the mouth. So... It's also in uh, the mall. The mall of Georgia that I go to frequently has uh, more than one, I think at least two, maybe three even, Auntie Anne's locations. If you don't know what Auntie Anne's are, it is a uh, chain, kind of a mall chain, food court type chain, usually found in food courts, uh, like soft pretzel company. Easiest way I can describe it, like the big pretzels that you get at games or things like that. Let's talk about the menu of Auntie Anne's. So you have the original pretzel, which is kind of buttery, salty. You have the cinnamon sugar. I enjoy that one. You have the sweet almond. That is my favorite Auntie Anne's pretzel, the sweet almond, uh, in terms of the sweet one. It, it's like uh, savory, kind of buttery, but still has a sweet almond crunch, and you get like some caramel dip, and you dip it on, oh, oh wait, that looked bad, and you dip it on in there, and it's fantastic. Unfortunately, last night, I wanted a sweet almond. There was one sitting there, and the woman just looked at me and said, No, bad. I said, Well, what can I have? And she just went, No, bad. I don't know what that was about. So I had to get another thing I like at the Auntie Anne's, and that is the pretzel dog, where they take like a Nathan's famous hot dog, which I like very much, and they wrap a pretzel all the way around it. They're great. They also have a cheese dog like that. They have a jalapeno cheese dog like that. I like those very much. They have the mini dogs. Uh, but I think probably the king for me, even though I don't get it all the time, is the pepperoni pretzel. It's the original pretzel, butter and all that on it. Then it has cheese and pepperoni on top like a pizza. <laughs> Woo! I like it very much. That pepperoni kind of, you know, greasy, the little cups of, of delight. It seeps down into the pretzel, makes it all taste like that. And it's delicious. But I don't always get it. Didn't get it last night. Again, avoid diarrhea. You never know what's going to happen with uh, pepperoni grease. So you just kind of, mm -mm -mm, nope. Stay away from that. You know. But there's also raisin, it says. I don't think I've seen the raisin pretzel. Uh, roasted garlic parmesan. I don't think I've seen that either. I would get that. But I don't think I've seen it. The problem is you only get what they make. They sit there and they roll it all out. And so uh, you get what they have available. You can't like get a special order made? I don't think. I've never tried that, so maybe you can. Correct me if you're wrong. So anyway, in the comments, what do you like about Auntie Anne's pretzels, or if there's a competitor you like? I know in uh, Philly, uh, soft pretzels are kind of a staple, and they have lots of soft pretzels there. They met me at my Marriott with them the other day. Uh, what do you like to dump them in, dip them in, lick them in? You know what I'm talking about. What do you like about the old Auntie Anne's? I like them. I don't know why that was on my mind, but it was on my mind. It's Friday. I am ready for the weekend. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we're going to go uh, get barbecue. Uh, Victoria and David and I, we're going to go get barbecue um, and see uh, Doo Dog for a few minutes. Uh, Drew, Andrew, is coming over. It's WrestleMania weekend. We're going to try to fix the wizard tomorrow that we picked up a while ago at Dirt Cheap. Um, I'm sure we're going to hunt for things. I think we got to go on a makeup hunt for Victoria to um, Ulta. I think we're going to be on an Ulta hunt. Got to get that Game of Thrones stuff, you know? Even though I'm not sure that's what she's looking for at Ulta. But somewhere. We're going on a makeup hunt. I think uh, we may try to get some some other things. Uh, today, I'm about to run on my here in a minute. It's lunch break to GameStop. Pick up some things. I got some stuff at FedEx. So all that will be on Dub Life. Uh, I think episode 26. I might be wrong, but it'll be a WrestleMania weekend. Anyway, I hope you're having a great Friday. It's almost the weekend. It's a good weekend. 
We are only one week away from Game of Thrones and just, what, three from Endgame? So it's all coming. Hey, I shouldn't say it like that. No. Anyway, talk to you soon. Squeeze it.